guys. Um, gonna have a look at the brake discs today. I've got the uh, the rear and the, the two fronts. They're actually looking pretty shabby. Uh, a bit of rust on them, a bit grubby and so forth, but they have good meat on them, which is um, gonna save me a truckload of money. I had a look at maybe replacing them for some nice shiny ones, but probably looking to, it's gonna set me back about 750 bucks for the three of them, so it's a bit of a waste really. Um, I've read on the back of these babies that it's a minimum 0 0.18 of an inch, which is about four and a half, just a smidge over four and a half centimeters is the minimum thickness. And these are actually looking pretty good. I've got like, I've got five, 5.3, 5.4 on that one. Uh, about the same on that, about 5.4. And the rear, about 5.2, so these have still got plenty of meat left in them. So, I saved myself some coin. I'm going to try and give them a bit of a refurb. The rear's not in too bad a shape. It's got some, some smudging, some wear marks and so forth. Fronts are pretty rusty, but I'm thinking I'll firstly hit them with a uh, bit of brake part cleaner. I'll give them a spray and um, yeah, I'll hit them with steel wool and then maybe I've read that you can run a bit of 600 wet dry paper over them as well to bring them up. I'm also thinking once the disc is sort of nice and clean, I've cleaned out all the holes in the middle of everything, I'll probably mask around this edge uh, where the pad, sorry, doesn't wear. Um, I'll mask that off with cotton tape, mask up the whole uh, disc just to protect it and then I'll blast the actual carriers and try and get all this rust and everything off. So if I, if I mask around there nicely, I'll give this a blast, give the back a blast, and then I'm gonna Cerakote those in the armor black, um, which will suit the rest of, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do with the wheels and it's got good heat rating as well. So it should be fine for when the uh, discs heat up. So I'll, uh, get to it and we'll see how we go. clean but there was just too much garbage coming off where the um, the rust and all that was so I've taped up the discs to protect them this um, cloth tape one of my favorites uh, it's good in the blast cabinet the media pretty much bounces off it unless you really hold it on there so I'm gonna give this a bit of a blast and we'll see how it comes up so here we have the first one being blasted. You see before and after on them. It's pretty, pretty mint, really. Um, so yeah, I'll blast the other two, get them cleaned up, get them acetoned, and then uh, give them a hit of Sarah. All right, I didn't bore you with the details, but um, I've just finished resurfacing the uh, discs. With some 600 wet and dry i just use the actual brake cleaner as um, the lube for the wet and dry paper uh, i had it on a block so it's nice and flat just little circular motions so you can see here they come up pretty bloody nice um they're just in their acetone bath at the moment grab this one out looking pretty fresh so it's all sandblasted um, there's still a few little marks on it, but I don't mind that for uh, the money saving that I'm going to do. So I'll put that back in. I blasted all the um, the bolts and the lock off little tags as well. So we'll give that its acetone bath for about half an hour, and then we're ready for remasking and Cerakote. So it's looking more like a house of horror here. I've got. Everything remasked up, 
So I masked it the first time, did the sandblast in, clean off, remask, uh, got the bolts blasted and hanging, this hanging, uh, we've got our nuts, nylon nuts for the discs ready. And down here I've got all the washers and then the lock offs for the rear disc. And it's time to get some colour into this baby. I shall report back once they're sprayed. Waited 24 hours and done the unmasking. I have to say they've come up bloody brilliant. They look uh, almost brand new. I painted the the actual edge of them in the armor coat as well. The armor black. There's the back of them. So they've had the 24. They're pretty much dry now. Um, I've still got some tape residue from where I masked around that circular bit. But I'll wait the full five day cure before I get the um, acetone onto that, even though I've tested it and I know that it will handle it. I'm just going to give it its best chance anyway. So I'll clean all that residue up five days. Um, I've just finished my first pint of armor black, so I've got to order some more to hit the wheels once the wheels are hit. We shall get these babies back on them. But Really happy with that. There's um, not much time for a lot of reward, a lot of uh, cost saving. <laughs> 